And it's actually amazing how the declaration has turned into an icon of these protests, giant facsimiles unrolled on city halls, uh, university buildings, even on the walls of the old city in Jerusalem. It's been carried in demonstrations uh, and uh, laid out on the pavement. People come forward to affix their signatures to it. Um, so why has the declaration played this role? Well, it's arguably, it's the one document that had the widest buy-in from all parties at the time it was written in the weeks before the declaration of the state. It might be said to contain the DNA of Israel, principles, principles that can't be overwritten by a passing majority. Now, it is not a constitution by any stretch. One reason is that it can't be amended, but it has the stuff of one, and especially these principles, and I effectively am quoting from the declaration. Israel is a Jewish state by virtue of natural and historic right. Its citizens are equal, irrespective of religion, race, or sex. The state guarantees freedom of religion and conscience, language, education, and culture. And the state is peace-loving and faithful to the principles of the UN Charter. Now, conceivably, a Knesset could deviate from any one of these, but then Israel would cease to be the state that was uh, founded on May 14, 